We've seen long lines as people wait to get tested for the virus. A lot of people just can't find those at home test stores. So between the demand for tests and the rise in cases, University Health says that its emergency room is full. University Health says that its emergency department seeing a spike now in patients with heart attacks, strokes, diabetes and other critical traumas. Now those cases are serious, but it's also concerned about the Omicron variant clogging the system. Just one day before those New Year's Eve celebrations, University Health is urging people not to go to their ER unless they have a real emergency. Here's infectious disease specialist Dr. Ruth Berggren. People have gotten the message that Omicron is highly infectious, more infectious than Delta, but less lethal. And that is true, but, but, Omicron is causing a huge number of people to come to the emergency room. She says more people are showing up to get a COVID test. University Health says some who do have COVID are also showing up with mild symptoms. The emergency room is for people that are really sick. And by that, we mean having shortness of breath, having difficulty breathing, very high fevers and people with those symptoms who also have underlying health conditions that put them at high risk for a bad outcome. She says anyone who wants a COVID test should instead call their doctor or find a testing site online. Yes, that could take a while, but it will also leave room for those who need to go to the ER. That would also limit the spread of this less lethal but highly contagious variant. And don't forget, healthcare workers are also getting infected. So they're getting symptomatic breakthrough cases and they can't come to work while they have symptomatic Omicron. And so we have a decrease in the number of people available to take care of folks when they're sick. In a press release, University Health is urging people to skip crowds and New Year's Eve parties. But the city is still moving ahead with its own New Year's Eve party downtown, even announcing street closures for Celebrate SA. Dr. Berggren points out that the celebration is outside, but people should still distance. The problem is that if you go, if you get cold and you go inside or you're in a very, very thick crowd and people aren't masked and they're coughing and sneezing around. So what if you find yourself in the middle of a crowd? You better have your mask on and it should be a really good mask, like a KN95 or an N95 mask, or at the very least, a surgical mask, a plain old face cloth covering. It's just not going to cut it. Why? Because the Omicron variant of SARS-CoV-2 is way more infectious, much more transmissible than the variants we've been dealing with previously. The highlight there being Omicron is way more infectious. All right, so University Health is planning to hold a press conference tomorrow. That is set to take place at 10 a.m. Of course, we're going to bring it to you live right here on KSAT 12. Now here's something else. You can also watch that news conference right from your phone. Just download the KSAT app and we will send you an alert as soon as that conference takes place.